The EIS 102 is one of four GAAP reports. It displays the original cost and or the book value of capitalized assets by their function and or their class. Each fund type, governmental proprietary fiduciary, is printed on a separate page. The report can be generated four different ways. If you wish to exclude any entity IDs from the 102 report, please enter them now. For further information on entity IDs, refer to the entity ID video. As I mentioned, you can generate this report four different ways. F is a schedule by function and class. C is a schedule by class. These are considered detailed reports. S is a summary schedule by function and class. And A is all schedules. We're going to start with F. It's going to ask you for the reporting date. And it will generate an EIS 102D report. This is a detailed report that subtotals by function. And within each function displays the original cost and book value by the asset class. The book value is the original cost minus the total depreciation. This time we're going to run it by C, schedule by class. Again, reporting date. And this is going to be a detailed report that subtotals by class only and displays the original cost and the book value. Next, we're going to choose S for summary schedule by function and class. And it will prompt whether you want the original cost or the book value. We'll select the original cost. And if you want to summarize the report by the first two digits of the function. This is going to create a EIS 102S.txt report. And what it's going to do is list the asset classes in column format. And then within each of those, subtotals by the function. The last option is A, and that's going to generate uh, all schedules, your summary and detail reports. An additional page may be printed for assets with unknown fund types. The cause of unknowns would be assets that do not have a fund in item screen or assets where the fund is in item screen but the fund is missing in fund screen or assets where the fund is in item and fund screen but the associated fund type is missing in fund screen. Another thing that you may find on these reports is either an unclassified or unclassified function line. Amounts for items that have a missing asset class in item screen will, do, will be displayed on the unclassified line. Amounts for items that have a missing function code in item screen will be displayed on the unclassified function. To find the actual tag numbers tied to these amounts, you can run an EIS 304 report for capitalized items with the status of active and scan down the asset class and function columns to find tags with missing codes. If you find a missing asset or function code in an item, perform a transfer transaction to add the missing code. To assist in balancing at the end of the fiscal year, the totals for each fund type on the 102 should match the totals on the 101 and the 103 reports. Please refer back to the video selection for videos on the other EIS GAAP reports.